the Aldi haul. At the Aldi haul. This is a true haul video. <laughs> <laughs> shopping at Aldi down in town. I'm sure you probably have an Aldi near you, actually. No, you may not. You may not, because we couldn't find them in a big part of the country. So there's a little lock thing you put the coin in. Oh, maybe that one's messed up. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, yeah, so you push the coin in. It's normally a little easier than that. <laughs> and then the chain pops out. One thing I thought was funny the first time we started coming here is all of the, the boxes look eerily similar yeah, they do. <laughs> to the, the real things. Okay. What do you have, Ben? You have butter cookies? I want to have a cookie until we get home. We got to pay for them first. What is mommy getting? Because they're so good. We have things full of candy. Nobody from Halloween gave me dark chocolate caramel sea salt things. That's true. That's true. So donuts. Ben likes his chocolate donuts. Which ones do you want, baby? Good choice. Yeah. <laughs> this boy loves some right. donuts. So we've bought all junk so far. All junk, that's right. Yeah. Hawaiian sweet rolls are really good here. So we don't really do like our full grocery shopping here. This no. is more like supplemental food. Yeah. Or things to add to meals or things like that. But back here along the cooler wall, so they, have they have a lot of random things. This is also a section where things come and go. Still looking for it? What was yeah. that? It was like an apple, it was like a spicy apple dip, but it yeah. was savory, like, um... It was so good. We found it one time, cookies. and we destroyed it. It was so good. This looks good. And we haven't found it since. So, Aaron's walking by one of our favorite new things. Tajin, I think is how you say it, fruit seasoning. We put that on watermelon oh and can gosh. eat an entire watermelon. It's so good. <laughs> it's spicy and salty and... Lemon or limey. limey. It's oh, it's so, so good. good. It's amazing. Love if you've it. never had it, just get some. Put it on everything fruit. Everything fruit. Everything fruit. Everything fruit. Pumpkin chipotle pasta sauce? What? I would try that. Pumpkin chipotle? Pumpkin and butternut squash. Should I get the chipotle or the butternut squash? Get the one? chipotle. There's a bigger chance I will like that one. So their Reggiano's pasta oh, yeah. is really, really good. It is. Um, we actually stocked really up good. on it. We knew we were leaving Aldi territory. Yeah. <laughs> we stocked up on it so we had plenty for our trip. But their angel hair, do we need one of the angel Yes, hair? right there. And it's a nice big box too. Like, yeah, for $1.39. It's, like, it's like two pounds, or yeah, it's two pounds. It cooks up nice. And yep. Cocoa rice. All right, we're coming up on the cereal. Where, oh, here we go. Size, honey. Here we go, the cocoa rice. My absolute favorite cereal right now. Absolute favorite. All right, Aaron's gonna buy all of these. <laughs> all right, what are these? So these are potato Cheese crackers. crackers. Okay, so Brookie has not been following directions, so she gets to ride in a cart. Old Bay sausage. That sounds it's really it's good. Eleven oh five. Okay, today's the fourth. Okay. We can change our cooking plans a little bit. Okay. Oh, got blueberry. Spooky marshmallow apple jack? What is that? Marshmallow blue loops? What well, is they're all just this? trying to compete with blueberry and... They're, they're $1.44. Blueberry. Do you like any of these? Yeah. All right, what is this? These are breakfast sauces, like you make with eggs. This one is shakshuka. Aaron's really good at pronouncing I'm things. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Shakshuka, Middle Eastern style spice. That sounds right and up my this alley. this is Huevo Rancheros. Let's go with the Shakshuka. Yeah? Yeah. Huevo Rancheros is like, it's salsa. That's salsa. Right? Okay. But this actually has like okay. Middle Eastern spices in it. Yeah. That sounds amazing. So one thing that Aldi has a lot of is like sauces and stuff. Maple what? Maple vinaigrette? Like apple cider vinegar with maple syrup and sea salt and pepper. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> so there's a bunch of hot sauces, a bunch of dry rubs, some pestos, more rubs. Yeah. It's a, this is a fun place to find different 
flavors. Breakfast bites? Mixed berry breakfast bites? Yeah, they're like little cookies. Huh, how much are those? Two bucks? Yeah, yeah give them a shot. Oh, you want some yakisoba? Ooh, yakisoba. I wonder if they would eat that. I bet you they would. You want to put that in the cart? You want to get that? Go for it. Good job. Yum. Now we've opened the seal. He's just going to start grabbing things and throwing them in. All right, so what is this, flatbread? Yeah, it's chicken enchilada. Yeah, so this is the freezer area. They have a lot of interesting things every once in a while. That will definitely fit in our convection microwave. Yeah. Oh, they also have like Halloween stuff. They have boxers, bathroom things, water, cooking utensils. They have a bunch of random stuff. We've never really got any other random stuff. We've got big old turkeys. Fully cooked. What? A cooked turkey? I've never yeah. seen that. Huh. I mean, why not? Just heat it up and serve it. There you go. Interesting. What else we got here? Spicy chicken patties, wings, chicken, 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 Ooh. ravioli. I don't know if we've ever had these. No, we haven't. Try them. All right, Kids so coffee? Um. You just bought that big thing, didn't you? I did, but they have pumpkin, ooh, they spice. Have pumpkin spice. You want to try that? Try that. Grab a salted caramel. I haven't been liking this as much. They have cold brew, eh. but it doesn't have the creamer in it. No, I don't I'll take a salted caramel it. there. Okay. So the Aldi ones, look at that, dollar nineteen for this, and the uh, Starbucks ones are like six dollars for four small ones or something. They're kind of crazy, but these ones are good. We like the vanilla. Yeah. Sometimes we'll just come in and buy like ten vanillas. Oh, <laughs> Theirs is good though. No, they're. Oh yeah, there's... This one's good. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's two thirty nine for a 12 pack. Right. That's the thing, because the other ones are like eight packs. Once again, Ben decided to act like a crazy man, so I had to come out before uh, before the girls while they were getting checked out. Here they come, though. So they don't do bags here. You have to either bring your own or buy bags. Uh, most of the time we remember to bring them in. We do have a cooler bag in here, though. Alrighty, good haul at Aldi. Found some good stuff. Oh, you are like crazy excited about these cheese crackers. Oh my gosh, we look for them all <laughs> I, across the country. Gotta be honest, I'm surprised you haven't broken into one no, already. No, because I'll eat the whole thing <laughs> and I'm not hungry. Yep. I need to wait till I'm hungry. Yep. So we uh we kind of had to rush out of there at the end because Ben was losing it and Brooke was climbing out of the cart. And, yes. You know, typical Just our so. children stuff. Yep. Uh, so we're going to uh, head back home and then we'll take you all inside and we'll kind of run through what we got. Um, <laughs> the Aldi haul. The Aldi haul. This is a true haul video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aldi haul. Uh, let's do the cold stuff first. Uh, this is a freezer slash cooler bag that Aaron got from 31 that we absolutely love using. Uh, so we got a salad to go with Kung Pao chicken tonight. And we got some nuggets. Old Bay sausage. Uh, these look really, really good, and we love Old Bay, so we will probably do these for dinner tomorrow night, because they... It says 11.5, which is tomorrow, so we will do these tomorrow. And then a chicken enchilada bistro-style flatbread. All right. That's all the cold stuff out of the way. We're going to have that later. All right, so bad stuff. <laughs> Dark chocolate sea salt caramels and dunkers. The chocolate chip dunkers, these are basically just chocolate chip cookies, but they're kind of, they're like sticks, sort of. So they're good for like dunking in coffee or hot chocolate uh, or tea, I guess, if you wanted to do that. Uh, we like them just because they're, they're actually pretty small for a cookie, so they're good as like a single little treat for the kids. Uh, then with the coffees that we talked about, we got salted caramel and pumpkin spice. This is all Aaron. I do not like pumpkin spice flavored things other than pumpkin pie. So pumpkin, more, more pumpkin, pumpkin chipotle pasta sauce. Uh, we'll have to report back on that. And then we've got the shakshuka breakfast sauce, a tangy and savory Middle Eastern style spiced sauce. I really, really want to open this up and smell it. <laughs> However, I will say this, we will, uh, so there's a recipe on here actually, onion, garlic, bell peppers, olive oil, this sauce, 
eggs, parsley, salt, and pepper. Uh, looks like you just cook the vegetables, pour the sauce in the pan. Ooh, and then you poach the eggs in the sauce. I'm totally gonna do that. Totally gonna do that. That sounds awesome. Trick with this is just not forgetting that we have it. So I might actually leave this out on the counter. Uh, sometimes when we have something we're really excited to try, to make sure that it doesn't get buried in a cabinet somewhere, we will actually just like leave it out on the counter so we don't forget about it. Uh, harvest potato soup. This is the, uh, that's the German brand that Aldi has, the Deutsch Kucha maybe. Uh, so harvest potato soup and harvest vegetable. We've had this one before. Uh, this is really good, like with grilled cheese. Uh, oh, more bad stuff. So butter cookies with chocolate. Chocolate donuts for Ben. Uh, these are basically Triscuits. Uh, cracked pepper and olive oil, like woven wheat crackers. We love Triscuits and these are just as good. Uh, breakfast bites. These are for the kids. We'll probably keep these in the van, most likely. Because uh, these are like little tiny bites. These are berry, though, instead of chocolate. They have a lot of chocolate. Chocolate stuff. So this is the pasta that we were raving about. Reggiano, I guess, is their... Aldi brand. Uh, so two pounds of this was like $1.39 or $1.49. And it is so good. Like, we like this pasta so much that we will just eat it with nothing on it. Maybe just a little bit of butter to keep it from sticking to itself. But we just, we really like this pasta. We don't know what it is about it. I'm sure some other company makes it and just Aldi distributes it, but it is so good. Uh, all these Hawaiian rolls. Uh, if you know the like the Big Kings Hawaiian, you can get like a 12-pack of those. They're like four or five bucks at other stores. At Aldi, it's like $1.30, I think. And they are, I think they're just as good, if not better. Because I think the Kings Hawaiian are maybe a little too moist. And these aren't quite as like wet when you eat them. Uh, oh, that's right. Ben grabbed this. Teriyaki beef yakisoba. Uh, I don't know if I've ever had yakisoba. I've had a bunch of Marichan stuff, like the cup of noodle. Uh, I'm sure Ben will like that. The mac and cheese, these are super easy. You just put water in and nuke them and then mix the cheese in. Kids love those. And then this, if you like Cocoa Krispies, find an Aldi and get these. They are better. These are my favorite. These are mine. And grapes. Grapes were 79 cents a pound, which is an awesome price for grapes. Oh, and let's not, uh, Let's not forget Aaron's um, find. So I'll just pull one of each. One of each of these. There's like seven or eight of those in there. I can't blame her because they're addicted. So these little cheese bites, right? We got the Amentaler, Amentaler, however you say that, and Gouda. Uh, they're both pretty good. I think the Gouda are better if I remember right. Uh, but we, uh, we've been looking for these since we left here, like, this time last year. Uh, these are so good. They are super light and crunchy, and they just have a, they just, they're so good. They taste so good. Uh, so that's it. That's our Aldi haul. Uh, let us know what your favorite thing at Aldi is, or if there is something that you don't see here that maybe is at Aldi or some other store that you think we should try, let us know because we love trying new stuff. Like I said, uh, while we were at the store, we love Aldi because where else would you find something like this, like the shakshuka sauce? I'm so excited to try this, but at most other stores, you don't really wander through the international aisles very much, but at Aldi, all this stuff is just kind of out and it, the stuff rotates in and out so often that you really, you stumble across stuff like this all the time and we really enjoy that and the prices are just crazy so if you have an aldi nearby go check it out uh if you already go to aldi you know what's up thanks for watching guys we will see you tomorrow make sure to hit us up at 5 togocom and check out our patreon family page at patreon.com 5 to go and we will see you on the road bye